GTA. The educational game that I play is a simple quiz about gravity. Well, may, it may not be that simple, but let's see. This quiz contains three questions, and the first one is that. There are three objects with different mass dropped from 10 feet height. Which one will hit the ground first? Now, all these objects have different mass, but they fall from exact height. But that height is not too high, so they can experience the opposing force of the atmosphere, which means they will fall at the same time. Let's see. The ulti will fall first, the piano will fall first, the shovel will hit the ground first, all simultaneously. Which one will hit the... Okay, all simultaneously will hit the ground first. Correct. All right. And there is an explanation. The gravity exerts the same force on objects regardless of their mass. The only thing that can change the falling speed is the resistance of the, the fluid or the air. Well, the air is seen like a fluid. They fall through. But the height is not that big to allow friction to slow down the object. So they will, they all will hit the ground at the same time. Next one. A bag of gold is dropped from an airplane. What will happen with its falling speed? <laughs> that, uh, well, why they should drop a bag, a bag of gold? Maybe they are chased by the authorities and they want to get rid of the evidence. But let's see. A. The falling speed, the falling speed will increase until the bag hit, hits the ground. Mean to. All right, the speed will increase for a while, then remain constant until the bug hits the ground. I think this is the correct answer. We'll see why. C. The speed will increase for a while, then begin decreasing due to friction. <laughs> They're trying to trick me. And D. The falling speed will be all the same until the bug hits the ground. So I will choose B and we'll see why. There we go. Terminal velocity. So the bug will accelerate its speed until it reaches a terminal velocity. As the speed of an object increases, so does the drag force action acting on it which also depends on the substance it is passing through, for example, air. At some speed, the force of resistance, drag force, will equal the gravitational pull on the objects. At this point, the object stops accelerating and continues continue falling at a constant speed called the terminal velocity. So, now you know what will happen if you drop your phone, let's say, from a plane. And the third question. <coughs> let's see. Three kids with exact same mass are situated on the beach, on Mount Everest and deep underground. Do they weight the same? All right. Now, A. All the kids will wait the same. B. The boy will wait more than the girl. Than the girls. The boy is... The boy is at the sea level. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. The girls will wait more than the boy. And D. The girl underground will wait the most. Now. This at the height will wait less. This is for sure. And this underground will too weight less. You may think that objects underground weight more because they are closer to the closer to the center. 
But the thing is that the most gravity is exerted at the sea level, where the radius of the solid object is bigger. That should be or the diameter of the object. Then if we go up, the gravity will be smaller. If they go down, the gravity again will be smaller. And if that girl actually reaches the, the center of the world, it will weigh nothing. Yes, it will be like in space. Because the gravity will be exerted from all directions on the girl. That means the, the answer should be the boy weighs more than the girls. And there is the explanation. Actually, this is very, very small difference, approximately 0.03 kilograms for 5,000 meters in both directions. Let me take my reward. Excellent. And I got <clears throat> my knowledge level for today. It's time for serious gaming. And thanks for watching.